Hello everyone, welcome to an uh, episode of the channel with you. Today's with a special episode, as of I don't usually review channels over the amount of subscribers of 150k, which to be honest is a very large number. Today we're doing a bit of a special episode because, well, I don't know, I just like it. Anyway, today we are going to be reviewing this channel. Alright guys, here's a look at Setup Tour 2018 edition. We're going to head and check off. Okay, okay, but for reals though. Welcome to the Super Butter Buns Setup Tour 2018 edition, yeah. So this is the complete full setup. As you can see, I have a triple monitor setup, but the two TVs on the side are TVs. They're 1080p TVs, and this is the one I play my console. God damn it. Did you know we live next to a military base and it gets awfully loud here and it's very convenient when I'm trying to tell people about my room. It's so convenient. Hey guys, what's up here? It's your boy PewDiePie, ready to tell you about another Minecraft Let's Play. So, this channel we're gonna start out with the basics like always. Now, sorry if I say your name wrong. Uh, so the channel called Super... But... But I'm just gonna call you Super BB for now on. Um, how many subscribers does this channel have? Well, the channel has 320k of this recording, with views 25 million. Um, also joined on January the 16th, 2015. Now, most popular video to date is the Presa uh, 5 for beginners. I heard it's some sort of car games, um, I'm not very keen into car games, I don't mind them, they look good, the graphics look good, but you like whatever you like. Now, what type of content does this channel make? When was the last time I ever said that? Well, this channel makes something like, for instance, I don't know, uh, Blank Space for beginners, or like Resident Evil 4 for beginners. Uh, do you remember and also knowing about and etc. But what do I think of this channel? Well, I very much like it. I like it where you're able to watch a channel and do work and edit release videos in the background at the same time. So I very much uh, like it and plus this is one of the reasons why I got Resident, in Resident Evil 4. So I can really thank this channel for helping me and guiding me and just basically be like, things will be okay when they're okay, things will not be okay when they're not okay in Resident Evil 4. This channel gets a 10 out of 10. Anyway, so here's the next channel we will be reviewing. And remember kids, sleep is important so you can get your words out right. Of if our final choice will be counted in the next Life is Strange, what about our other choices? Obviously this doesn't work for the Sacrifice Chloe ending since the week we made all those choices would be, uh, erased. But if you chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay, what happens with all the outcomes from all your other choices? Take Saving Kate for example. If only our final choice is counted, what happens with her? Did we save her on that rooftop or not? Would she even exist in Season 2 even if we chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay and the town got destroyed? I mean, if there's one outcome Donut should canonize, I think it should definitely be the one where Kate lives. What about our choice to kiss Chloe or not? What about Max and Chloe's entire relationship? If they drove away from a destroyed Arcadia Bay, would they be doing so as friends or gal pals? If Season 2 does read our save data, then maybe they can take some of these into account. 